Hello. Again, we have a question on joint probability density function. Now we're taking up a two con two continuous random variable x1 and x2. Now this is the question. As you can see, the question states if the function of x1 and x2 is equal to the exponential of minus x1 minus x2, where the condition zero less than x1 less than infinity or zero less than x2 less than infinity or zero otherwise is a joint probability density function of the random variable of x1 and x2 show that x1 and x2 are stochastically independent and that the expected value of the exponential product of t and x1 plus x2 is equal to 1 minus t into raised to the power minus 2, where t is less than 1. I think you can see the question. This is the question. I want to find the solution to that question. Now, to solve this question, we have to find the marginal probability density function of x1 and x2 so as to test if they are so classically independent now the f, f into x1 is the marginal probability density function of x1 which is equal to the integral of uh, 0 to infinity of the function of x1 and x2 which is a uh, e exponential minus x1 minus x2 the x2 so this one will give us minus e raised to minus x1 minus x2 ranges from 0 to infinity which is equal to minus e raised to the power minus x1. So, uh, the, the marginal probability density function of x2 also give us the integral of 0 to infinity of e raised to the power minus x1 minus x2 dx1, which is equal to minus e minus x1 minus x2 ranges from 0 to infinity so this one will also give us minus e minus x2 now if you find the product of this marginal probability density function that means uh, f x1 x1 function of x1 dot f x2 function of x2 will now be equal to minus e minus x1 minus e minus x2 and this will give us e minus x1 dot e minus x2 which is equal to e minus x1 minus x2 and this exactly is the function given x1 x2 now therefore since the product of the marginal probability density function of x1 and x2 is equal to the function of x1 x2 then x1 and x2 are stochastically independent 
they are stochastically independent. Okay, they are stochastically independent. Now, that is the first part of the question. They said we should prove that we should show that x1 and x2 are stochastically independent, and that is what we've just shown. Now, we want to do the second part of the question and find the expected value of exponential product of t and x1 plus x2. Now, I want to prove that this product is equal to 1 minus t raised to the power min a, a minus 2. And let's, let's see, let's show this. Now, b. Now, exponent, uh, expected value of exponential product of t with x1 plus x2 will now be equal to if you want to find the expected value to be equal to the integral of 0 to infinity which is uh, the limit for x1 and the limit of x2 with the product of exponential t x1 plus x2 with a function of x1 and x2 and what is the function? the function is e raised to the minus x1 minus x2 then dx1 dx2 ok this one will be equal to the integral infinity, 0 to infinity of integral 0 to infinity e raised to power t x1 plus x2 we are trying to connect these two together by indices minus x1 minus x2 we have the x1 the x2 now from there from there it will be equal to integral 0 to infinity integral 0 to infinity of uh, e you try to to collect like times you have e t minus 1 into bracket x1 plus t minus 1 into bracket x2 the x1 the x2 so from there you can now integrate then you have it to be the integral of 0 to infinity you integrate the x1 first you can do it either way either x1 or x2 but i choose to do x1 first so i'm taking this part then thereafter i will now integrate with respect to x2 so this will give me e t minus 1 x1 plus because if you differentiate this it will it will give you t minus 1 so you have to write this back you divide it by the differentiation that's a that's integration of this exponential function you have t minus 1 now the limit of uh, x1 is 0 to infinity and then you put your the x2 so when you put those limits you have uh, exponential 0 to infinity of um, minus e t minus 1 x2 all over t minus 1 x2 over t minus 1 again you are still differentiating with uh, the x2 so this one is the same thing as uh, have it as uh, 1 over 1 minus t integral infinity e t minus 1 x2 the x2 again you integrate then you have is equal to 1 over 1 minus t and just bracket it to bracket 
here is power t minus 1 x2 all over t minus 1 then with the limit zero to infinity close the bracket this one will be equal to this one will definitely give you 1 over 1 minus t and this one will give you minus 1 over t minus 1 which is equal to 1 over 1 minus t 1 over 1 minus t which is equal to 1 over 1 minus t raised to power 2 it's the same thing as saying 1 minus t raised to power minus 2 so therefore that is exactly what they ask us to prove therefore the expected value of e the product of t x1 plus x2 is equal to 1 minus t raised to power minus 2 so that is uh, the problem this is the question this is the question